My name is Carolyn Butts. I'm the founder of African Voices Communications. It's a nonprofit arts organization devoted to celebrating black art, literature, and film. And one of the key things we do is publish African Voices magazine. We have poems, we have short stories, we have great visual art, and we have features on people like Dr. Khalid Muhammad, you know, features on top choreographers and people in theater. So it's really a cultural magazine, it's, and, and actually it's more than a magazine because we also have events that we do year round. We have writing workshops. We do like conferences devoted to people learning how the craft of writing and literature. And we do art exhibitions. So it's really about celebrating the artist and introducing people to their work, people like you. So we want to welcome, welcome you to the African Voices um, family, actually. And the other thing that we do that's major that you can go to the website and you can see is that we do the Real Sisters Film Festival. But in terms of African Voices, we are truly an organization that really empowers black writers and artists. One of African Voices' mission as a cultural arts organization is to actually go out to public schools and promote literacy. We have a program called Get Your Read On, and we have adopted different schools throughout the city. We send teaching artists into the school to teach young people how to write poetry, how to write, um, you know, about creative writing, and we also give them reading lists. So it's just a wonderful program where we want to pass on what the knowledge that we have as artists to the next generation. Our goal was always to um, have a place where young people, we could celebrate young people where they can learn directly from professional writers and artists. So that's how it started. It grew out of um, a need that we saw that in the public schools right now, art has been taken away from the kids. Um, over the past 20 years, there, you know, a lot of art programs or art in public schools have not been there. So we wanted to provide a foundation uh, for young people. And I think what is really great is that when I come in the classroom and I said, look, I'm not the teacher, but I'm the publisher of African Voices and I give them a sample, it's like to see people's faces, the kids, their faces light up and to know that that's a possibility for them. In the same way now, in the era of Barack Obama, kids can now see that they could become a president. That's a possibility. So I think it's important to make that connection that if you are a publisher or you are an artist, to be able to have that connection with the community and to be in the community. The most successful thing about us is to actually see a writer who, like E. Carey, started out with us in college and, and now she's an author and she has her own poetry collection and she's teaching and doing her own thing. To really see the evolution of some of the people and artists who came with us and some go on and do their own thing and then some actually come back like in the case of Mariah and she said she wanted to help us. Um, now she's the poetry editor. That's part of it, the love not only of the art but you know to really um, know that you're fulfilling your mission because you know anyone who has been with us for any of our years know that it is a labor of love we have a small staff uh, most of the time they're not really paid and you know when we get money we pay you know people that we need to pay it's been an inspiration for people in many dis different disciplines I mean I think it's one thing if you have an arts organization and it's, it's serving one outlet it's a dance company or it's a, um, you know, a film company or whatever. But with African Voices, we've managed to weave a thread through all of the arts. So you will see in the magazine, you see theater people, you know, we have relationships with Woody King, you know, legends. You know, I think bringing together um, different artists in, in different disciplines and having them like collaborate and celebrate each other's work, I think that's beauty. I think that's success. And so even if we are not a multi-million dollar 
organization, um, you know, it's about empowering people and that's what African Voices has done. We would love to have you as a volunteer. If you want to join African Voices, please call us 212-865-2982 or you can go to the website africanvoices.com and learn more about what we have to offer. You may be an organization that wants to collaborate or partner with another arts organization. We would love to consider doing that as well. Basically, one of the, the tags of African Voices is Together We Evolve. So please join us. Thank you.